let's say you're an owner of a hotel and there are such complaints, particularly with regards to a certain room, what can you do to get rid of this negative energy? Based on your personal belief or culture, right, perform the required rights. Uh. Even if it's not uh, a genuine case, right, uh, psychologically it will, it will make uh, things better. Yeah. My understanding of ghosts is that they tend to attach themselves to certain places, places that have a special significance to them. So if a ghost tends to haunt uh, uh, a hotel, does it haunt the entire hotel or just particular rooms that it might have stayed in before? Well, different cases, um, you get different kinds of spirits. So some of them like normal human beings, so they might find a certain attachment to a certain room. So maybe that particular spirit happens to like that room a lot. So he decided to take up residence in it. Okay. Yeah. And other so-called spirits may just wander around the hotels and staircases, stairwells, different rooms. Okay. So from what you know, you say that there are hotels in Singapore that are haunted, but it's a very small number. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. That's good to know. Now, <laughs> moving on to the second segment. Um, what do you think of these tips, so to speak, on how to avoid uh, you know, getting into supernatural trouble when you're staying in a hotel? Um, effective or not, I, I really don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you guys yeah. were laughing when you were watching it. <laughs> having said that, right, uh, if um, the guests, the visitors, they are, they are comfortable by do after doing all this, by all means, at least they have a peace of their mind, they can sleep well. Okay. But I noticed some, some tips inside, uh, they're actually from certain religion, like the salt water, like the religious books. So uh, they have their own reason and own rationale in, in, in their own culture, own religion. Other than that, like knocking on the door, uh, the sleepers ar arrangement, right? I believe they are all um, uh, derived from uh, certain folklore, certain old wife tale that, that that boils down to the common understanding of uh, respect. Uh. You knock on the door, you indicate that you are going to stay here for a few days. So if I respect the spirits, naturally uh, uh, the spirit will, will not be resort to any violence or anything funny. Okay. When you say that the salt water, uh, w where is that from? Is that from Christianity? Um, water itself, uh, to, in many cultures, be it the Western culture or the, the Eastern, the Chinese, um, it's a medium used to, to cleanse certain things. Uh, you can cleanse somebody, you can, you can cleanse uh, a building using water after a certain prayer, right? So, uh, salt itself in, in Chinese cu custom, right, is often used to cleanse uh, spirits uh, and also add on with rice, raw rice, uncooked rice, mixed together and uh, you scatter around to cleanse the area. So, uh, it actually has its own origins. What about the book that you find open in a hotel room? If I mean a, a Bible or a Quran or mm. any religious book, where is that from? Um, for that case, right, I would say that it's a it, it, it's a common thing. Why? Because um, if someone, for example, I'm I'm a believer of a certain religion, I find that this place is haunted, and uh, the first thing I will do is to rely on my own religion. For example, for if I'm a Christian, I will recite the Bible. So, and I believe the Bible, certain verse, certain quotes, right, is able to uh, protect uh, the people. So, I will naturally leave, leave it open. So, so from that indication, right, uh, people can see that, oh, perhaps this place uh, is more than misty eye. There are some, some certain things that, that is uh, not known to us. I see. So, but why shouldn't you close it? So that in case you need to read it, you can immediately refer to it. Is that That's what? right. And sometimes when you close uh, it, right, uh, psychologically, you think that, oh, you have disrupt the rights so you will feel uneasy and uh, you, you may start to have certain imagination by yourself yeah okay thanks for the discussion once again you can always post your ghost stories on SPI's forum page at the web address below all entries stand a chance to win a very cool dry fit t-shirt that says paranormal investigators as well as have those stories turn into a possible supernatural episode we'll see you again next week